Obviously, this weekend was also very much about the college football playoff, and it is set. Here's what we've got. The Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. It'll be number four Cincinnati making history and trying to make more. Looking to upset the number one team in the country, Alabama. The Crimson Tide, a 13 and a half point favorite. The Capital One Orange Bowl, number three, Georgia. Number two, Michigan. The Wolverines, a seven and a half point underdog. And so let's bring in the college crew. Heather Dinich is at the DFW airport looking to fly home, but we won't let her catch an early flight because we need her here this morning. And Paul Feinbaum and Desmond Howard, who was just on cloud nine with his Wolverines in this dance. So the 14 playoff is set. Des, let's start with this. Alabama is number one. There were a lot of people who thought maybe Michigan should be number one. Did the committee get that right yesterday? There's an argument for each team. I think that um, when you look at the way that Alabama played lately, you know, there's an argument you would say, well, maybe not. But then when you knock off the number one team, the consensus number one team in the country, uh, the Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC championship game, then I understand why they got the nine. But the Michigan Wolverines are trending in the right direction. I mean, to take on Ohio State two weeks ago and, and beat them the way they did soundly in Ann Arbor and then – to back that up with the Big Ten championship win over Iowa, 42-3, uh, to three, such a resounding victory. The way that they've been playing, I could, I could have very easily have seen the committee put them at the number one position, the pole position. So there's an argument either way. Personally, I thought Michigan deserved the nod at number one. I was watching Chris Fowler's nightcap recap, and he mm -hmm. convinced me that Michigan should have been the number one team. But... You know, it's okay. Alabama, they finished really strongly with that victory over uh, Georgia. And it's not a victory, Paul, that a lot of people expected to see. And Bryce Young gave you one of the great big game performances that you will ever see from anyone at any position. So Bama goes in. How about what they did on Saturday? And how do you see them as they go forward here looking for another championship? I think they're in a very good sh position, Greeny, but but I agree with Desmond in this regard. I don't think it's clear cut. I, I think had Michigan ended up being number one, uh, there may have been some cries from Tuscaloosa, but quite frankly, it, it, it wouldn't have been the wrong choice. But when you beat the number one team, I think you deserve it. So here's Alabama. I, th I still think they're vulnerable. I know that's not uh, popular to say today after what they did to Georgia. But, but th th this is not a clear-cut uh, favorite like it has been, uh, especially last year. I think Alabama has some tough sledding ahead. Heather, we talked about it on Friday. We, frankly, you and I have been talking about it all year long. Cincinnati looking to make history. They do it. They get in. They're the first group of five team to get into the playoffs. So congratulations to them. Their reward is they get Nick Saban and, and legendary Alabama. What is the reaction here and what is the expectation for these Bearcats going in? Well, the expectation is to continue to fight just like they have every single weekend and really, really punctuate the resume with real history. And Greeny, we have to remember that this was a a true once in a lifetime opportunity because it wasn't just that they went 13 and 0 for the first time in school history. Think of all the things that happened around them in order to help them in this place. Their win against Notre Dame carried them to the very end. McGreeny, one of my favorite sports movies of all time is Little Giants. And I think of the scene at halftime where the kids are saying one time, one time, and it reminds me of Cincinnati this year. And if they could pull it off just this one time, imagine what it'll do for the group of five moving forward, especially in an expanded playoff. Will they be doing it against the Heisman winner? Will, is there any question, Heather, but that Bryce Young, and we've lost Desmond for the moment, I would ask him normally as our resident Heisman winner. Uh, but, but Heather, would, uh, did Bryce Young lock up the Heisman with that performance on Saturday? Well, it's hard to imagine he didn't. I mean, you have to at least consider Aiden Hutchinson. Also, Kenny Pickett should be in the conversation as well. But what Bryce Young did and why he did it was his offensive line. Greeny, a week ago, they gave up seven sacks. And Bryce Young wasn't able to do anything until that fourth quarter to send it into overtime against Auburn. And then on Saturday against one of the best teams, they were able to protect him and went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, gave up no sacks against the best defense in the country. That's why they're number one right now. And then on the other side of it, Paul, a Georgia is more than a touchdown favorite against a Michigan team that, as Desmond just pointed out, is coming in as hot as you can possibly be. And there were many who thought Georgia was exposed over the weekend. What is your sense of that game? And what are the, the callers on the talk shows today going to be talking about with you today about Georgia? 
There will be some people railing against Kirby Smart. Once again, in the big moment, Greeny, he did not deliver. Now, again, it was against Nick Saban. But this is now three times uh, that he's had a 10-point a or more lead in a championship game against Nick Saban and failed. So he has a, a lot of questions, especially at the quarterback position. Did he play the right one in the fourth quarter? And very quickly, because I know you need to jump on a flight, Heather. We've seen Alabama, Georgia in a championship game before. Is that the expectation again? I would say it is. As, as hard as Cincinnati is going to fight, you know that Alabama is the team to beat right now. And I, I do think as much as everybody's made it about a rematch and avoiding a rematch, we're going to see a rematch. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.